morning. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. My name is Tina Hewerman, and I want to introduce you to my sponsor, Veronica. Veronica is studied under Alexandria Brighton for 26 plus years. She is a wealth of knowledge when it comes to essential oils. She has truly studied underneath best. She is an aromatherapist. She um, is a quantum of aromatherapist, a licensed massage therapist, a Reiki master, and a doula. She, um, as if you've been on a call before, who do we have? Let me get those turned off. All right, thank you. Um, anyway, she uh, is is absolutely amazing. If you've been on a call with her before, you know that she goes deep into the oils and, and will teach you how to use them um, in ways that you never thought of before. So uh, with that, I'm going to, uh, Veronica, do you want to say anything before I start sharing screen or do you want me to get right into it? Oh, you're muted. Uh Okay, how about that? There we go. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, we're good. All right. So here we go. I'm going to share a screen. There we go. And as I said today, we are going to be come um, covering one of the most unique essential oil collections I've ever seen. Um, it is the Chakra Collection. And Veronica, I'll let you go ahead and take it away with this screen if you want to kind of open up a little bit with this with this part and then we can sure. go into the oils. You bet. So um, good morning, everybody. So glad you, you're joining us today. <clears throat> we are talking about the chakras. We're gonna do it in two parts because there's so much information and there's so much you, you, I wanna share with you. <clears throat> One of the big things about chakra oils, cause there's a lot of chakra oils out there. And if you have been using the oils that Alexandria has formulated, you know, there's a little bit of a difference, right? The formulation is different. The energy of it is different. The way that they work are is completely different than any other, you know, blends out there. So why not the chakra oils as well? The chakra oils are truly a different kind of vibrational energy when it comes to these oils. So if you didn't know, what are chakras? So we're just gonna review really quickly because I can dive really deep into what chakras are and what they mean and how they work in your life, but we don't have time for that. So chakras are primarily, there's primarily nine major chakras and chakras are kind of like a spinning wheel. They go from the top, from the bottom of our feet to the top of our head. So each chakra is related to a physical part of our body an emotional, has an emotional characteristics, has spiritual characteristics to it. The intention is when people say, I need my chakras to be aligned, what they mean is they want those spinning wheels to be going the correct direction. You know, because when you feel off sometimes, you know, or when there's illness and you just can't figure out what it is, maybe it's your chakras off. Maybe the wheel, you know, is going a different direction. Chakras kind of, they came from, they're Sanskrit. So they came from India and the intention truly is that your divine pattern is laid into your chakras. So you want to always keep them moving, keep them open, and just really put in great vitality, great frequency into those chakras so you could have a great um, vital life. That's truly what it is. So the chakras help you to maybe get over something, you know, whether it's a physical illness, an emotional thing, a spiritual thing, it just, it really helps heal all levels of the body. So it's a great alternative of using oils so you can shift into a different perspective. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to talk about the different chakras. We're going to talk about the different oils and we start from the bottom up because this is the way it works. And so we're going to start with I connect. If you look at I connect, I connect is literally um, the place of the chakra is in the middle of your foot. So if you were to squeeze your foot together, there's always a little dimple in the middle of your foot. That, that little dimple in different modalities 
is called, you know, in acupuncture, it's like a kidney, you know, point. Some people, you know, with some people, it's called the spring of life. And some intention is that that's where the soul enters and leaves. So you could feel as people are slowly passing that their vitality on that spot of their foot seems to diminish. So the, the foot chakra, it's not a major chakra, but it's really beneficial to the root chakra. Because the feet, you know, have you heard or has anyone ever said, you got to take your shoes off. You got to go plant your feet in the dirt. You got to go and connect to the grass, to the earth. Well, this is what I connect does. I connect helps with that static electrical, you know, energy that's just a little bit wonky for lack of a better word. And what happens is when you connect to the earth, when you put the eye connect on the bottom of your foot, and especially in that specific area on your foot, on that little center dimple on the spring of life, you are clearing that static energy that's that came up. You're clearing, you know, you're reconnecting to the earth because you've got to be connected to the heaven and to the earth. So that's what we want to make sure that you're doing. So I connect does that connects you back to the earth connect you back to what you know it just will help you release that draining you know because don't you sometimes feel god i just feel so drained you know the energy is just draining out of me you got to reconnect in and i connect can help you do that what's great is we're using both feet so there's a vibration within both feet so you want to make sure that you look at it and you add oil to both feet so that way you can, you know, even though it's two feet, it's still considered one chakra. So in order for the, you know, the, the root chakra to really work, you really want to connect with the, with the foot chakra as well. So let's talk about, you know, I am. So we move up. I am is the root chakra and I am, there's the specific, the most specific point of this chakra is literally, you know, between the anus, above the anus, there's this little spot that we all have. And for women, it's like between the vagina and the anus. And for men, it's the same spot, the scrotum and the anus, that there is just this little piece of skin. You know, there's just nothing there. That's where the root chakra truly is. But for practical reasons, we identify and use the inner thigh the higher up inner thigh as the spot for the root chakra. So the root chakra is what, because we talked about connecting to the earth, right? So we're connecting to the earth, then we're moving up and we're still connecting to the earth with the root chakra. The root chakra is about trust. It's about the foundation of our life. This is where we actually get, at all of our primary learning, right? And our parents are human. We all make mistakes in our life. So whatever we have learned is what we're carrying on. But this is the place where we can make those changes. This is the place where you really want to go in and change that, um, that perspective of recreating your foundational learning. So the root chakra is truly the the place where you want to you know have the ability to say yes i can and truly this root chakra is where manifestation starts i just saw the quick question about the, they thought that the root chakra was in the tailbone everybody has a different place you know it's closer but if you were to ask uh, an acupuncturist or you know someone else the actual spot is right there between you know, the anus and the genitals. So that's really the true spot. So the root chakra is about grounding yourself to the earth. It's about making sure that you have good vitality. But like I said, this is where you learned everything. This is where everything was imprinted in you. But the great thing is with chakras, whatever you've learned or whatever people or what kind of environment that you learned in, it truly is about your own perspective because you have your own divine plan and that's what's imprinted in these chakras. So whatever the divine plan is for you, 
this is where it works. So you might have to change some things. You know, when you have a traumatic accident, when you have a severe illness or um, a death or such that was unexpected, your root chakra, you know, you get just, it gets off a little bit. You get a little bit shaken up. So you've got to really put yourself back into place. And the root chakra can help do that. The root chakra can help you kind of start to move forward. Because if you look at it, we've got the foot chakra, we've got the root chakra. This is how we move. It is how we move forward in our life. So the root chakra is right, you know, is the perfect thing just to really help you feel stable, to feel in your feet, to feel like you're in your body and that you have ability to survive anything and to continue to move forward. But to really try to manifest in any sort of material world, this is where the belief starts, right here in this root chakra. To manifest happens right here in this root chakra. So as we move up, we're looking at the sacral chakra. The sacral chakra is that place, it's almost in the, the reproductive organs area. So above the pubic bone, below the, you know, below the belly button. This, this is about feelings. This is where I feel comes in. I feel is the place, the center of every kind of emotion or feeling that you could have. This is where you learn to express yourself, express your emotions. This is where you, um, you know, if you've had difficulty, you know, communicating your feelings and such, you may want to take a look at your sacral chakra. You may want to actually apply it there. Sometimes it helps with reproductive challenges, whether women are in, you know, having fertility challenges or men are having fertility challenges. This is really a great place to really put, you know, to really do some great work. You can really apply it, you know, in that low belly area and, you know, really help. So even if women or young women, who are having challenges with their menstrual cycle, this might be something to try out as an alternative to other oils. But the sacral chakra, how do you express, you know, your joy? How do you express, you know, being happy? How are you expressing yourself in social, you know, groups or gatherings? How, how are you, you know, putting yourself out there and sharing your feelings? So the sacral chakra is really that place. And this is that, you know, this is this blend that really puts that out there is really just helps you. So maybe, you know, there's someone who has a hard time sharing their feelings or someone is just a little bit more standoffish or, you know, people see that as, a, you know, maybe as a cold personality. What you want to do is actually use the chakra oil to you you know, to really help warm you up or to help you feel more confident in expressing your feelings and in expressing, you know, who you are and what you want to do. So that's the sacral chakra. Um, you really want to be mindful of your feelings. Maybe you overshare. So what happens, what tends to happen, and I'm bringing this up now, is that you might have too much energy or frequency into one of the chakras that you got to just balance it out a little bit. And what's great is the chakra oils can help do that. So you really, you know, sometimes if someone's an oversharer, right, for instance, someone who um, goes into, who's just stuck and never moves forward, you know, maybe they just are stuck in the earth. Maybe they just, you know, they can't move forward. So maybe the root chakra oil or, you know, the I am or the I feel will help someone, you know, to actually move forward. Maybe someone who overshares, you know, this I feel can help them kind of balance it out a little bit. So that way they're not so, they're not an oversharer, right? Because do you know one of those people that just overshares just a little bit too much? Well, maybe this sacral chakra is just a little off. And this blend can truly help with that. All right. We're going to move up to the solar plexus, which is the I think. Oh, <clears throat> we are moving a little bit faster than I thought. Sorry. So, which is okay, because then I can go back. I must have. So, 
I don't know where the slide went for that. Okay. So I, I think is the solar plexus. So most people will identify kind of like above the belly button or around the belly button area. And, um, you know, so it's right there. It's in the center of, of your body. And I think is about the left brain. It's about what are you thinking about? It's the logical thinking. So, but the other great thing about this, it's, you know, it's also about what moves you forward, what helps you take action, right? Because you, you're, you're making a plan, you're thinking about something, and then you need to move forward about it. So you've created the plan and you're moving forward. So the I think is really that center of our own will. You know, what, what is it that we want? What is it that we want to do? What changes do we want to make? What things do we want to manifest? What things, you know, what intentions do we want to create for ourselves? This is where the solar plexus, I think, actually happens. So I think is about the success in your life. It's bright. It's about happiness. It's, um, you know, it's not, it's feeling, but it's not so much the feeling. So, because it is dealing more with the logical part of our brain, but it actually is what helps us get prepared. You know, I am a list maker. I love to make a list and we truly, you know, I, I can sit there and make a list like nobody's business. So once I make a list, how, what are the action steps I need to take place? You can really, truly move this into your action. This is where you really want to move forward with it. You want to be able to develop something into, you know, into the, into the world. You're trying to create, you're trying to go from the list to the actual manifestation. So, excuse me, the power is inside of yourself. You're just putting it together to make it forward to come in. So we are moving forward and we're trying to actually take that power because some people don't even know where to start. Should I just tell them? There's nothing on the screen. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. There's nothing on the screen right now. Um, there's, lost my train of thought. Oh, so there's a, um, a stuckness sometimes that we have about, I don't even know where to start, right? So this is where it starts from. So if you know someone that has that, then maybe they need the, I think, maybe that's will help them to kind of like, okay, let me figure, figure out what my next step is. You know, we can be in that place in our life where I don't know what to do next. And this is where I think comes in. I think comes in to help you move forward to understand and to create a plan and to figure out what am I going to do next? So once again, the solar plexus, the I think, and we're, you know, we really look at it as, you know, everything is about manifestation. If you think about the chakras, you know, whether it's your health, wealth, or happiness, it is about creating that. And this is where we start. Sometimes people don't look at the chakras as a spot to, you know, as our places on the, on our body, you know, to think like, well, maybe I'm stuck, but I should look at my chakras. And that, you know, not everybody thinks like that. So it's a nice place to really kind of going, okay, here's an alternative way. You know, here's an alternative way of thinking. Let me see if I can do it this way. Let me see if I, you know, if I can actually get through, you know, and, and shift some stuff within myself. And that's what the chakras are all about. These spinning wheels, what, what is really nice about the chakra oils is that um, Alexandra put these together as she put, you know, obviously as she always does, you know, she, she put these together knowing that this was a safe way for people to actually go into chakra work and a safe way to really identify, you know, limitations, not only, you know, at the physical level, at the emotional level, as we said, we are, we are truly, truly trying to help people and help ourselves move forward. So we've done the, the eye connect and the eye connect is on the bottom of the feet. 
So once again, you're going, you're squeezing your foot, you're finding that little dimple on the center of your foot, and that's where you're applying the oil. That's the best place to apply the oil. Um, I have used iConnect for a lot of reasons. And one of the best, as Tina said, I'm a doula. And sometimes in doula work, moms are really scared and they're just a little bit too flighty. They're not thinking, they don't know where they wanna go. They don't know what they're doing. All this heightened sensation is happening through their body. And you just need to come back into your body. You just need to really come back in. So a little eye connect, it's a simple application on the bottom of their feet just helps bring bring you back in and helps bring in a pregnant mom back into her body and like, okay, let's focus. So the eye connect is helping you get back into your body to find the center. That's what it's trying to do. Trying to help you connect into the earth and to really get connected back within yourself. At the same time, it's clearing whatever static electrical stuff that you're picking up. You know, I learned something from an herbalist once, which was how important it was to wash your feet every single day at night. So from the knees down, you should wash your leg, you know, your calves and your feet, because we are walking in each other's stuff. So wherever you're going, wherever you are, you are walking because we're all just dumping our energy down and we are walking in each other's stuff. So the I connect helps you, you know, so if I've had a day where I've given a lot of treatments and I am just feeling a little off because clients have really released a lot of stuff, you know, I, I, I wash my, I do, I wash my feet, I wash my legs from the, from the knee down. And then sometimes I'll just put a little, I connect on at the end of my day, just to help clear whatever it is that my clients were dumping in my room and I was walking around in. So it's important to have that because that is part of our vitality within our body. You know, if you feel sluggish and you're slowing down and you're like, God, I have no oomph, then the chakra oils are what you're needing. Now, should you put every chakra oil on every single day? No, because you just don't need every single oil every single day. And not only that, but you might be too much. So have you ever heard the phrase, a healing crisis? This is what can happen. So overdoing is not always your best. More is not always better. So if you're going to, you know, focus on one thing, then focus on one thing, you know, focus on connecting to the earth, focus on, you know, connecting, you know, getting regrounded, you know, getting focused on clearing your foundation and starting a new foundation focus on that so uh, apply the root chakra the root chakra the i am and apply the i connect that's how you're going to do that that's how you're going to move forward if you're really struggling with you know i my feelings i can't you know i'm not expressing my feelings or i think i'm oversharing or some you know whatever it is whatever challenge you have then then maybe just focus on your sacral chakra then just focus on your sacral chakra. And then, you know, if you really are trying to move forward, then you just focus on that sacral chakra. What's so great about the chakras is that this is, and because the, the energy of the frequency that we have, the high frequency that we have in these oils, because it's not just about the oils, it's about the intention. So remember that with these blends that Alexandria creates, she doesn't create a blend just because oils, chemi the chemistry of these oils belong together. She creates a blend because there's an intention and each oil has a specific intention and then specific job to do to create this one blend. So because of that, that strength of intention, it just heightens the level of frequency within our blends. So that's exactly what we're trying to do. We're trying to really create this wave of high level frequency coming up forward for us with our chakras. So some people, you know, may or may not believe about the chakra work. 
and that's okay. It is, you know, you have to do what you believe in, but I can honestly tell you that Alexandra has great testimonials. She, when she first developed her chakra um, blends and her chakra treatment, she had a woman come to her who there was nothing that she could do. She didn't even have the strength. She had to lay in the back of a station wagon and be driven to Alexandra. She didn't have any vibrational frequency. She had no vitality whatsoever in her life. And in using and doing this work, she was able to bring her back. I mean, it wasn't like she can't, you know, she didn't bring her back from death, but she was able to really bring vitality back into her body. She was able to realign everything and, you know, get her chakras going the right direction, get her chakras the right colors, you know, bring vitality back into each and every chakra that she had that was just not giving her the best of life. So, you know, you if you're curious enough, I hope you try them. If you're curious enough, you really will, you know, give it a little bit of chance, but be open to it. Be open to what the chakras can actually do because there's a lot of good work that can happen within a chakra, you know, within chakra work. You know, um, it is always uh, a great pleasure for me to learn from Alexandria. And one of the great things that I've learned from her is this chakra treatment. And it's unbelievable the shifts that take place with people. The things that show up for people when they're doing the chakra, when they're applying the chakra oils, really, it's like it, it you know, might kind of come in your face a little bit. You know, I might kind of just kind of be there and just say, and you might have to take a step back and go, okay, you got to learn. If we're going to progress as individuals, we got to be able to take this step forward. You have to be able to say, I'm willing to learn. I'm willing to move forward. I'm willing to do something different in my life. And the chakra oils will truly, truly do that. Now, I'm just seeing a few of the chat questions pop up about placement of oils and such. You know, if you've learned about chakras before in the past, you know, you apply them where you feel comfortable that you should apply them. I am just sharing with you where I have learned to apply them and where I have always applied them. So you do, you know, what's best for you and you understand, just use these blends because they're unbelievable. There's so much change that can actually move forward. You know, so, <clears throat> excuse me, that one of the big things about the chakra oils not, I mean, there's a lot of big things. Let me just tell you, there's a lot of big things because it, it's, it's, I don't know. I can't, I can't even explain it. Um, we work in one level and whatever level that we're working at and whatever energy that we are kind of, you know, in our aura, that's what's coming to us. And sometimes we got to clear it up. And sometimes we just got to, come back and find out what is, you know, be reminded what is our divine plan. And using the chakra oils puts you back into that place. Do you find, um, do you find that when you're working with someone new with the chakras and releasing and realigning them, do you, do they go through an emotional detox too, as they, they basically purge those old emotions that have kept them stuck before? Um, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes um, they will go into that place of like, how did you know, or what is this? And, you know, it just happens, you know, because if you're, if you release at that level, then you're at the cusp, but here's the thing. You can hold yourself back a little bit because you're going to go, I'm going to get real close to the edge. And I'm gonna like, Ooh, no, that's enough. This is as far as I can go. No one should push you or you should not push anyone to go further than they or they're not comfortable to go because that's just going to defeat the purpose. If you are at a place where, you know, if you're working on your, I can, you know, your foot and your root chakra and things are coming up about your childhood and you haven't really dealt with it, you know, just stay where you're comfortable, stay where you can. And when you're ready, then you'll push through, push through it. 
and find, you know, where you can, because this work, it doesn't end, you know, it's continuous because you could walk by a person and your chakras can get all messed up. You can have an exchange or an experience and your chakras can get all messed up. So your chakras don't stay in perfect alignment forever. I mean, unless you're sitting in a mountain in a cave with nobody around you and it's just you. But even at that point, <laughs> even at that point, the environment's going to affect you. So it doesn't matter, you know, depending on your state of being within yourself. It's that's that's where it comes from. That's where it starts off at. So you really want to be well versed in what's going to happen. I know we're going to talk about those other those other collections. And here's what's so great. If you can understand at least the placement of the chakras, you know, and where to apply these oils, because then some of the other collections you can use in replacement of the chakra blends. So some of the other collection, pieces of the other collections can actually be applied instead of a chakra blend, it could be a success in mentoring blend, or it could be a single oil. You know, there's a lot of different things that you can actually do. And there's, you know, but the chakras in a lot of people's life is where life starts for them. It is about, is everything moving? Is everything right? And sometimes all you have to do is sit or meditate or lie down and just think about them and just increase that frequency within them. But as as everything, adding a little oil to it just makes it so much better. So, so much better. So if someone is Did you have meditation, so let's say I'm brand new and I have the, mm -hmm. I connect and um, uh, the sacral one, uh, and mm -hmm. I'm just starting I feel. to have the, yeah, I feel, thank you. I, uh, and, and for those of you that follow me, you know um, that I've had to process a lot of trauma over the past couple of years and, um, and, and the growth that I've had from that, but I know they're still residual. So if I just get these two oils, I'm going to grab them. I'm going to go sit down in a quiet place. And this is all brand new to me. Tell me what, tell me what I, I should do um, on a person, like for a personal level and personal growth and personal healing. So if your intention is because of what you've gone through, you know, and we're, we'll use you as the example in the last couple of years, then you can use the I you know the I connect to really try to help you get back into your body, right? So with severe trauma comes, you know, a little bit of let me just get back into my body because sometimes we could be too flighty and things are just not working out well. There's no direction. So the I connect would help you know, get you back into your body, get connected back into the earth and really move forward in, you know, okay, this is my life. So if you were a meditating person, then you would think that I'm connecting to the earth. You know, I'm getting myself regrounded because that's literally what it is. You're just grounding yourself back. You know, we're really letting you get grounded in. So if you're grounded, then you're moving from the bottom to the top. You know, because like I said, you want to be connected to the heaven, to the earth and to the heaven. So we're there with the I connect. We can actually get all of it, you know, get that grounding happening. You can just think about, you know, pulling energy down into the earth and just kind of like transmuting it and letting it go. And, you know, it's gone and whatever is, whatever needs to be released will be released and that you will come together. If you're working with the sacral chakra and you're trying to feel, and let's say you're dealing with um, grief, then, you know, maybe are you feeling the grief? You're not feeling the grief. Um, are your feelings of the grief overwhelming so much, are so overwhelmed that you can't do anything, then you got to find that balance. So you're using the sacral chakra oil to really help balance and to bring the feelings up to surface. Because the last thing that you don't want to do is 
hold it all in. So sometimes you just, you know, it is what it is. You know, there's ways to express your feelings and there's ways, you know, and this is what that sacral chakra is about. This is what the I feel is about. It's about finding that way to express your feelings, you know, so you don't do harm to yourself or to any, anybody else and you just do what you have to do. Mm -hmm. In any circumstance with the, you know, with any circumstance with these chakra oils, you want to have the intention, you know, the product sheet will tell you, you know, what's the intention of this blend. And then you go from there and you find what resonates for you. How is it this blend? You know, one of the fun ways, this is, let me tell you a little secret. It's one of the fun ways that Alexandria loves to, it's not a test for people, but it's just working deep inside the subconscious. And that is put the oils, put all the oils in a little bag, you know, don't look at them, mix them up and just stick your hand in there. Set it in, if you want, you can have an intention, you know, kind of come into yourself and just say, whatever oil I need today, this is the oil I need. And then you know, Put your hand in that bag and you'll pull an oil out and that's the oil for you. And nine out of 10 times and probably close to 10 out of 10 times, that blend is exactly what you need for that day. So if you put all of these chakra oils, you know, into a bag and this was kind of, um, I call it the dog and pony show. <laughs> this was the way that Alexander introduced people into the chakra blends. Because as she explained everything and she'd have everybody reach in and just pull an oil out, she didn't have to say anything because every single one of those oils was meant for that person at that moment. So that's the depth of the subconscious that we're trying to reach. So I know everybody gets so fixated about, I don't know enough. I don't know this. Trust yourself. So if you're trying to share this with other people, this is the easiest way to do it. So I have, um, I bought really tiny, like one dram bottles. And all I did was put like three or four drops of each of the oils of each of the um, blends in each one. And I labeled it and I have a small little bag, you know, like those little cloth bags. I have a small little bag and I have them in there. And when I feel... I need that a client just needs a little something or a little bit of an awareness. I take the bag out and I say, pick an oil. And lo and behold, that's the blend. That's the blend they need. So you can work it that way. You can do it that way. If, you, if you're trying to present this, let's, let's talk about how you present this to people. If you're trying to present this to people, this is the best way you can do it. Talk to them about why the chakras are so important. It's about our divine plan in our body. It's also about the vitality, the frequency, the vit you know, just having this these vortexes moving and going the right way and being positive. Then talk to them about what's wrong, what's happening in your life that you feel challenged in. And lo and behold, there's gonna be one of these chakra oils that's gonna matter to them. And even as they're talking and explaining to you, you can do the pulling out of the bag and that's what's going to happen. So when we are working with the chakras, we're working with these wheels, we're working with all this, but we're working in the entirety of the, the whole body. It's not just the chakras. The chakras are meant to be there, but the rest of our body is connected to that. So then it just keeps moving. We're trying, you know, with Alexandria's emotional blends, and that's, I'm going to say it, with the emotional blends, not just with the health blends, but primarily with the emotional blends, we got to clear up some of our cellular memory because sometimes it's that cellular memory is what is that record, right? That keeps saying, you can't do it. It's not ever going to happen. You know, this is, you know, I was, your parents were in debt all the time. You're going to be in debt all the time. This is the way it's going to be. It's that, it's, that's the foundation of our learning that we have to, you know, we got to change. We have to change that cellular memory. We need to change that cellular record that plays. And 
essential oils, that's what it does. Essential oils move us. They change that neurotransmitter. It changes in our brain. It just changes everything, the way that you think and the way that you move in your life. Mm -hmm. You just gotta be a little bit more focused about it. But these emotional blends, I cannot <laughs> even tell you how many times in my personal life, in my clients' lives, this is this is the shift. You know, oils are not just about how do I boost my immune system? I have a cough, I have a this, you know, I have a back spasm, my right knee hurts. It's not just about that. I love the emotional blends because I feel personally, if you clear the emotional garbage, you clear the physical garbage, mm -hmm. right? Totally. So yeah. if you can clear some of that emotional garbage, then the physical, then your physical body, the vitality just shoots up, just shoots up. So why limit yourself? So these emotional blends, they're phenomenal, phenomenal because she has, the one thing about Alexandra is she doesn't research something quick. <laughs> she researches deep. So it wasn't just about learning about chakras. It wasn't just about that. It was about what does it mean to change? How do I help change something for somebody in their chakra, in their chakras? And this is what this collection does. So well, it's a phenomenal collection. Pardon me? Yeah. Yeah. And, and just the whole, for, for those of you that don't know, there's a, another line also that we um, offer in our sister company, HB Naturals. And with, with that, I mean, this whole journey of grief, I've, I've learned about the chakra system. Um, so there, you know, there's little blessings that come from that. And for those of you that don't know, um, I lost my mom in 2017 and my son in 2020. And when my mom passed away, I started drinking a lot and I never felt. And I drank all the way through my son's passing and am six months sober at this point. And I've had to finally feel. And I'm so grateful for these products, you know, in both companies and especially that success line with the stop self stop or yeah, the seasons of success with the stop self self sabotage because I mean that's been amazing and Veronica had sent me um, when I first joined go to sauna she sent me the grief oil. And I use that frequently through that and in ourselves do have that memory, you know I, I was raised in that type of environment with the alcohol and everything and it was it feels so great to break free from that and to grow from that and and to clean those that cellular energy out so that I can, you know, help others clean theirs because there's a trust factor, you know, for people when you've, when you've gone through that. It is a big deal. I mean, and the oils can help be a support system to that. You know, sometimes not everybody feels like they have a physical person to be a good support system, but you still need to, if you within yourself have the will to move forward and to do something, you know, then the oils can be your companion and the oils can actually help you move forward in that. So that way you can, you know, make that shift within yourself. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's so many stories about people who don't have anybody, but there's something inside them that gives them the drive to keep, to make the change. Yeah. I'm not, you know, I'm going to be the first in my family to do this. I'm going to be the first in my family to do that. So there's an instilled divine plan and drive inside of that person. So why not find a way to support them in that? And these oils can actually do that. And even for the people who don't have that drive, who want the drive, like, you know, why, why do you keep doing more and more stuff? You know, I don't, it's just as what, who it and what I am, but you know, you got to just always line up with it. And you just, you know, you have to honor whatever that is within inside of you. But these chakra oils, I, you know, I can't say enough with them. 
I'm trying really hard not to keep going on with all the other oils because the other oils are so great. I mean, with the other blends, <laughs> but it can be great. It's they're phenomenal. So, you know, stay tuned to next month so we can actually see, you can see what else can happen. Yeah. And then we'll talk about them. That. Do you want to tell Pardon? them what oils, do you want to tell them what oils we're going to cover um, on Oct it's October 4th, right? That's not one of our crazy months. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so October um, 4th, we'll, we will, so we're moving up. So we've done the solar plexus. We did the, I think we're going to move into the heart chakra the I love, and then we go up to the higher heart, which is I serve. We go to the throat chakra, which is, you know, I, oh, I understand. Oh my God. And then the third eye, I perceive, and the crown chakra, I imagine. So we will talk about those. And then we'll talk a little bit more about what, you know, how to get them all in alignment. We'll talk a little bit more. And I don't want to give away too much until we talk about all the blends. So we'll talk a little bit more next month about how all of this works together, how the entire collection works together, and um, how you can you know, sneak it in there with your seasons of success as well. So, I mean, this is what's so great about Alexandra. Things can cross over one another and that's, you know, it's phenomenal. It's really great. So thank I'm you. Gonna, uh, I'm going to pop over and share the screen so people can take a screenshot um, of next month's class. And if this event um, was something that you enjoyed and you think that you have friends that can find value of that, please feel free to add them to the Go to Sauna testimonial group and um, maybe post this on your uh, on your timeline. I will be getting an event created for this. You can feel free to invite your friends. But if everything in this world is energy, like we're all atoms and protons and neutrons and we're all an energetic being, then it makes sense to have an energy system within us that needs to be balanced. And if your emotions are the root of the, the, the physical aspects that are coming out in you in mental or physical health, it makes sense to help other people align their chakras with these oils. So anything else you wanna add, Veronica? No, I hope everybody has a good day. Do the little bag trick. Even if you don't have the entire, entire um, collection and you just have one or two, or if you have some of the seasons of success oils, mix them, you know, you can do that too with them. You know, mix them up in there and see what it is that you actually need. Set an intention for yourself of like, what's my priority today? What is important for me to focus on today? Throw those oils in a little bag, or if you have them in a box or whatever, just wave your your hand or you know over them and just pull whatever comes to you. That is really it's a phenomenal way to really make a shift in your you know within yourself. So try it and see how that works. I would love for us if you guys would do that for the next month. I would love to see what happens, you know. And if people can share that, that would be so great, you know. Just it would be so great. So. Yeah, share that. I'll try to take a picture of my bag and put it out there so you can you can all see it. But yeah, try and share it and see. Let's see what happens if you're just pulling randomly and see what you know what your subconscious is really trying to tell you. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, post in the if you're if you're in that testimony group already and you've got a variety of the oils. Let's do that every day for the next until our next class. And um, post in that group, say, you know, here's today's poll, uh, Veronica, tag Veronica, tag myself, and, um, and, and let's just see what your body is needing so that, uh, can you please share the picture for, I think, I will get that up. Yes, I will, Melody. Um, I'll put that with when I share the um, link to the YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, let's do that. We will see you all on October 4th at 10 a.m. Central. And uh, Veronica, thank you as always for your kind, gentle, and beautiful soul in teaching us about these oils. So with that, happy Wednesday. Have a great day, everyone. We love you. We appreciate you. And we'll see you next month. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you so much.